it has been discovered that HP has accidentally installed a keylogger on some of their laptops. And it has been broadcast in quite a few news outlets so far, so yes, that's, yeah, quite a few. The initial report has come from Mod Zero, a Swiss cybersecurity company. And it's to do with the audio driver, and it recognises when a special function key has been pressed on the keyboard. The executable is called MikeTray64, and it is housed in the system folder. Yeah, the C colon slash windows slash system32 slash MikeTray64. Or if you have a 32-bit machine, it will be called MikeTray.exe. So it has been writing key presses to the log file, and it's housed in C colon slash users slash public slash MikeTray.log. I know I normally keep to Linux on my channel, but guess who's using one of the affected HP systems with Windows 10 on at work? Me! I am! So here is the list of machines that it affects, and I'm using one of the HP Elite books. Now I do have this executable on my system, but I don't have the log file. So it looks like the advice is that you delete the executable if you're worried about key logging happening on your system. But first off, check for the presence of the log file because it's not actually in all versions. I'll read a bit more about it in a moment. But yes, you can either rename or delete the executable. The downside though is that certain function keys will not work on your keyboard. And this only affects Windows as well. I don't see any mention of it affecting Linux. So what is the point of a keylogger in an audio driver? Does HP deliver pre-installed spyware? Is HP a victim of backdoored software that third-party vendors have developed on behalf of HP? The responsibility in this case is uncertain because the software is offered by HP as a driver package for their own devices on their website. On the other hand, the software was developed and digitally signed by the audio chipset manufacturer, Connexent. The purpose of the software is to recognise whether a special key has been pressed or released. Instead, however, the developer has introduced a number of diagnostic and debugging features to ensure that all keystrokes are either broadcast through a debugging interface or written to a log file in a public directory on the hard drive. This type of debugging turns the audio driver effectively into a keylogging spyware. On the basis of meta-information of the files, this keylogger has already existed on HP computers since at least Christmas 2015. So the debugging file gets deleted every time the computer is rebooted, but if you're doing incremental backups in your system, then you may have quite a bit of history to go through. So the most recent version of driver, version 1.0.0.46, implements all the logging of the keystrokes into the file c colon slash users slash public slash mictray.log. There is no evidence that this keylog has been intentionally implemented. Obviously, it is negligence of the developers. I think we have to look along those lines. No malicious intent, just complete and utter incompetence by the programmers. So the vulnerability has been publicised now that the information has been passed to HP to deal with, designated the CVE number of 2017-8360. So that was the news that HP have a keylogger on some of their laptops. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.